it's Milbro back with Get Rich or Die, episode 22 here. Just uh, picking up after Horde Night. Got some uh, body looting to do. I know I'm getting really hungry. Um, let's actually just chop that frame out because I know it's damaged. Uh, before I get into anything else, uh, let's uh, go look at the total for the Duke's amount for, uh, for the episode. Know where we're starting off at, and we are starting out at uh, 45,070 dukes, which is a very nice little amount. We got a couple king size beds, uh, so about 3k sitting there, and of course, one to do the uh, the episode will do the body loot and everything like that. But before I forget anything on that front, I want to. I just want to get some glue on the hard on the craft while I take care of that, and let me actually feed myself. That way, I don't have the game uh, yelling at me about all this. And where's my? Oh. Oh no! I've actually ran out of food. Ran out of grilled meat. Eh, no worries. I got some canned food here. It'll at least uh, satiate me for the time being. And let's. See. Sorry, guys. Uh, just getting off the horn. I and you know, realize just how little food I have got after after all this. So just. Throw on another 20 water and just throw in some building materials here. Okay. While that's while I'm waiting on that, let's go loot these uh, bodies and see what we got. All right. Hoping there's something decent, like some ammunition to help me out with uh and getting back into it, like uh, cause I am running low on. 9mm and 7.62s. Um, what do you have for me? Military fiber, kind of rare find. How much does that actually sell for? 100 bucks for that. So yeah, nice little bit of change. Uh, let me actually just throw on the. Just want to throw on these old uh wood frames just so I don't automatically uh, <laughs> take damage. Last thing I need to do here. Um, check you. There might not be too much, but it's no biggie. Just... Sorry guys, this, is... <laughs> this could be a little actually access to uh, blog spike. I'll have all these uh, done up by the next horde night. It'll be fine. Just want to make sure uh, you know, all the loot's being taken care of. And like I plan on having all these uh, wood spikes upgraded to into the uh, to your to at least iron level for. It'll be fun. Um, just start scrapping this all down for brass. Not really uh, too worried about having uh, maximum efficiency on this. Yeah. It, the trap damage isn't too significant, so. Oh, what'd you have for me? A little bit of vitamins. Very nice. And... Do, do, do. All these guys are not giving me anything. There is a little bit of repair on this base to have to do. Taking damage, but... Not worried. A little bit of oil. Might actually keep that for repair kits. Yes, game, I know. Okay. A little bit of pain, but hey, as the old saying goes, no pain, no gain. 
And... I'll just pick up that other wood frame uh, another time once I get... Once I get... Once I come back to repair this and... We'll get those bodies harvested. Actually, do that now. Alright. Yeah, what do you call it? Like a while back, commented like, "Yeah, like, yeah, you really don't leave much behind." I'm like, I'm one of those people where I like to, uh, I like to try to maximize the resources as much as possible. It's like it's what I do. Um, anything in you? Nope. And just a shirt. We'll just scrap it down for cloth. Hey, a puffer coat. Very nice. That's a good little chunk of change right there. Get out of here with your sham sandwiches. Sham sandwiches, the bane of my existence. And just some more junk. And... And I really should have emptied out my inventory. And I think that's about it for cleaning up, so... Unless this zombie has anything... Nope. Oh, I left a body down there. I'll worry about that later. Anyways, let me you know, get prepped for the trader, and I will uh, meet you guys over at Trader Bob's to see what he's got. All right, on my way up to Trader here, uh, it's an airdrop day, so good little news. I'm hoping there's some good stuff in it. Want to take on this pig here because uh, I want to make sure I have a good supply of meat because I notice I do go through uh, the, gr the grilled meat fairly quick, so good idea just to make sure I have, uh, you know, kind of actively hunt the... Uh, the wildlife when I get a chance because that meat because uh, that meat is what else we survive. Let's see what we got. Diver's book and we got some AK parts and then a, a challenge note. Um, I forgot again to empty out the mini bike, so which is a little dumb of me, but oh well, it's. I was hoping for maybe a gas can schematic out of the airdrop, but it's really not that big of a deal, so I'll just grab uh, grab the you. But one thing I'm hoping from Trader Bob here is, uh, well, aside from the gas can schematic, which would be wonderful, I'm wondering if he's got a, a nail gun frame, because I noticed in my storage box I have a I have an almost complete nail gun. The only thing I'm missing is the is the frame, the yellow part that you can find in, on this version of uh, Seven Days. And I'm like, a nail gun would just be kind of a nice little luxury to have. It's like I already got the schematic, and everything. I just need that one piece. I don't know if you can actually upgrade with a partial nail gun. Be an interesting little thing to test out. Oh, my bad. Uh, Chris is still having his nap. Uh, on the floor. Oh well. Uh, Trader Bob, how are we doing, big guy? Welcome, survivor. Be Thank you. To look around. Uh, let's just uh, start off with the little. S oh. I, uh, I'm not planning on doing the itsy bitsy spider, anyways. But just start selling off some stuff. Car battery, shotgun, short stock. Um, not gonna sell the AK parts. But we'll just sell off this oil, and then we got the we got the big stuff like the duct tape, which uh, could sell for a lot in big batches. Level 43 and barter, so wonderful stuff. And we'll just see how much we were up to after the duct tape. 2,700 bucks, and then the king size beds, the big ones. We are now up to. You know, up 5,731 dukes, but Trader Bob, what do you have for me today? Do you have anything good for me? Leatherhood schematic? No. 
Um, anything in your in your stash? No, not really. Strike out again on gasoline schematic. Uh, this is like, obliged, oh well, no biggie. Yeah, so I think because uh, I mentioned like you know, repair the base earlier, what I think I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna go back to the horde base and uh, survey the damage and uh, see what we can do with uh, replacing spikes. Uh, so give me just a little bit and I will be over there. And we're back at home, just with, and coming up on the horde base now, just to see what the damage was so from overnight. They broke out one of the cobblestone blocks, some, you know, a lot of the spikes are damaged, but really not that bad of damage, and I'm sure they damaged some of the concrete. Yeah, they damaged a little bit here, and then... The cobblestone got damaged. It's it's one of those. It's like you're gonna have a little bit of damage, but nothing catastrophic really. Or from the zombies, they're they're usually pretty well behaved on this uh, front. So you know, nice little nice to see that we're having. But the one thing is like you know because my haste, uh, I wanted to uh, put log spikes down, but. I had to rip out the uh, the log spikes uh, in the uh, on the outer area, just so I can start getting more. Uh, as uh, I'll need to upgrade to concrete for all this, so that's one of those. It's it's really a kind of get a. I got to do resource collecting overnight, and uh, but. That's one of the things about upgrading it. It's like, I think I have a lot of scrap iron I can save for, uh, I've been saving for, let's just see here, for doing this. Yeah, 1800 scrap iron, so, looking good on that front. I made an extra storage box for all this, and then I uh, will stir the dukes in here. And so, looking at Almost 51k dukes, uh, so looking pretty nice over there. Um, got a lot of raw iron I can smelt in. Nice little shipment of uh, well, all my all my uh, um, I can make more forged iron, so very nice stuff there. I'll just start that up. This forge has got more concrete. It will cement mix uh, ready for for other upgrades. So we'll have more of that coming along. Let's actually see how much stone I got. I think I ran out of it. Yeah, I did. I ran out. So that's a little unfortunate. Which, like I said, I'll do more of that. I actually should uh, start emptying out the inventory, but let's make some, I'm gonna make some extra iron crossbow bolts just to have ammunition for the crossbow. Oh, I completely forgot to sell the, the, completely forgot to sell the, uh, the puffer coat, because I shoved it in here. Whoops, <laughs> my bad. Alright guys, I, I apologize, a little bit of lost money there, but we can always make another trade trip. But before uh, nighttime hits, I actually want to uh, go over to this car lot and and uh, just check to see if I actually looted or not. I can't remember if I did. And then I'm thinking tomorrow we might actually go, might actually go hit up the the bank and you know, have ourselves a little bit of a uh, a withdrawal, if you get what I mean. Um, leather hood schematic. Extra iron air hood. I'll probably just scrap that down for iron. And yeah, I just was. I don't think I've actually raided this. Nope, not really. Oh, hello, sweat. How we doing? Nice weather, huh? Nice and stormy. 
Ooh, chainsaw schematic. A little bit of science in your life. But yeah, I definitely don't think I've raided this because I've... Because I would have already taken all the gas barrels out of it. Yeah, you definitely could tell here, so... Chop up tires, nothing out of those. And... I like having extra iron, so... Yeah, no, no extra sets of tires out of this. Just don't forget to grab that too. Um, another 28 Dukes, very nice. AK-47 schematic, I already know it, but extra point gunsmithing, I tell you. Hey, there's some 762s and some steel arrows, and then more paper beer and all this and check to see what's in this uh, door here I think it's in the bathroom yes it is suitcase anything some duct tape and glue very nice to see green alcohol and a wrench and a cooking pot let's just see what's in here real quick and there's Coveralls, we'll just scrap those for cloth. Beer and more jars. Wonderful. And we'll just see what's in here. It's another bathroom, but I think maybe it has a, one of these has the uh, the roof uh, access. Looks like a working stiff box. With an iron pickaxe, I'll just use that too. Have a little bit of repair. Um, I think that's about it for this POI, so we'll just um we'll just leave that there actually. I'm close to home and I don't really need to go full blown uh preservationist mode and like uh well no loot inventory mode like you know or goldenrod seed that'll save on next harvest. Actually, don't know if I checked the garbage out front. A little bit of iron. Yeah, just a little bit of iron and more brass. More brass. I uh, just want to check the roof out here real quick and then. No, oh, I'm not gonna worry about that cooler. I know it's not quite nighttime yet, but let's just go check to see the, the grand total of uh, Dukes uh, exactly to let's see what we got. And we're coming up here to see Throw the extra 28 in. We're looking at 50,829 dukes, so looking pretty nice on that front. And with that all being said, guys, I'm going to end today's episode here, and I hope you all enjoyed, and I thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day, and take care.